Hi. Today we're going to be doing a little unusual show. We're going to be fishing from our backs. We're going to be soaking up what few rays the sun has to offer. We're going to be wearing neoprene gloves and headgear. And I'm going to just stay kind of on the floor of the boat. And my guide, world famous Roland Martin, is going to guide us through now, hey, the timber. The bushes are, the, the bushes are this way. Which bushes way? Are this way. This way. So, uh, and to, towards the anterior section. You're at, anterior. The anterior. All right. Now, with the neoprene glove. How was that, Roland? Uh, about six foot more to the left. Six foot left. Six foot left. Tell me when I get a bite because I can't really detect very much with my neoprene gloves. Try another one, a little bit more on the left. Look at that. Today, Hank is having one great time fishing with his friend and fellow pro, Roland Martin. Together, they're on the lookout for largemouth bass on the Texas Mexico border on Lake Falcon. And also today, our tip of the week. Therefore, you've got to have a battery and a troll motor that will deliver that power. And in a moment, we'll take a look at bass fishing using surface lures, which are known to many anglers by another name. Top water baits. How about that? Isn't that a nice fish? Healthy fish. Good, chunky, fat. Big head. I like that a lot. Fishing aside the head. How about that? Say, ah, oh, what is a nice fish. Now, I didn't realize that fish was that big when he hit. Let him on the side of the face. Top water baits. How about that? Isn't that a nice fish? Healthy fish, good, chunky, fat, big head. I like that a lot. I didn't like that. Now, why'd he do that? I was being nice to him. And I put him back and everything. Hall collaring this morning. Tell you what, now, I can get in a little of that. This walking bait will produce big fish. It's one of the best big fish topwater baits that I know of. A lot of different ways and types to fish topwater baits. And of course, we'll keep talking about that as the day goes on and talk about when to use which type topwater baits as a whole. This walking bait, I like it because you can control it so good. It casts so good. You don't have anything to catch the wind. Uh, you can pitch it and shoot it like a bullet. So you can, it's pinpoint accurate type casting. You can put it right by a little point or brush pile. That fish came off this little point right up next to this grass. Now I'm gonna make another cast and show you exactly the benefit of this bait versus other type topwater baits. Now see, I can actually walk that bait in close to that grass on that point. So you can move this bait, whereas other topwater baits or surface lures are difficult to move. They just kind of go where they want to go. But this bait is a walking bait, and you can actually pull it hard on one side when you get it walking, and you can walk it up under boat docks or walk it right by grass points. So it's a good bait to control in tight areas. Yeah. 
Ooh, come in here, big boy. Bait's barely got him. Barely got him left. He just barely sucked that thing under. I like that. That's another thing, too, about a top water bait. You got all those treble hooks. If he swipes at it, there's a good chance one of those hooks will get him. You know, the walking bait or the spook or the man dancer, there's about six or eight of them out on the market. And that bait that I'm using, I call it a walking bait. Uh, is a bait that I like in clear water. 99% of the time when I fish a top water bait in clear water, this is the type bait it'll be. Uh, round cover like we got here, where you got a lot of vegetation, lily pads and things of that nature. Uh, a lot of times I like a different style top water bait. I'll change and go to a, a bait with like a spinner on it uh, or a uh, bait that is a popper. But a little bait uh, with a spinner on it, something that you can work and actually let it sit still. Your walking style bait is a bait that you got to keep it moving. You don't get many hits with it setting still. Whereas these spinner type baits, you get a lot of hits with that bait just sitting still. So you can fish it around a lily pad or a grass area, and you can come to a little hole, and you can make that spinner make a lot of noise and just let it sit still. I catch a lot of fish. Uh, we got a little pocket right over here. Let me see if I can't maybe raise a fish out of there, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, you just throw the bait in the little pocket where you're limited and move it and let it sit. Whereas you walk in bait, in order for it to be productive, you got to keep it coming. And your little uh, prop bait or spinner type top water bait is productive, setting still. Just like that right there. How about that? <laughs> Thank you, buddy. He hit right on cue. But see the difference? That bait, that fish hit that bait when it was actually setting still. And you can, I think, you can do a lot better job around pads or grass beds with a prop bait than you can a walking bait. The only deal about the walking bait is it's, it's got those giant hooks and you, you can just put it in a little tight area. So uh, it, it's different times to use different top water baits. And if I've got a real good top water bite going, uh, when fish are really feeding on top, I'll put on two or three different types. Go in there and get your mama. So I like that little prop bait when I'm fishing it uh, around pads or grass beds, or even stumps or heavy timber where you got a little spot and you want to run that bait up there and stop it. And this bait just has propellers on both ends. Uh, just a little uh, round bait. Now this particular bait is a clear bait and is fairly heavy. I like those. You can throw them a long way and you can throw them in the wind. And they'll also, the heavier the bait, we used to take the wooden ones and lead them. The heavier the bait, the, the better you can make it pop in the water or get prop action without jerking it out of the water. If it's too light, when you go to jerk it hard to really get some good noise out of the bait, uh, you'll jerk it out of the water. So I like these heavier baits, and if you've got an old wooden bait that you like, you can just bore you a hole in it, stick a split shot or something in that bait and make it heavier, and you can get a lot more noise and keep it in a stationary position a lot more effective than you can a little light bait. So this bait's already, it's plenty heavy. So 
Well, that's a couple of top water baits used at the right time in the right place can really pay off for you. Well, our special guest today is a super friend of mine, and I guess the all-time tournament winner. He's won more tournaments than anybody, uh, Roland Martin. Thank Roland, you. Hey, Hank. super to have you on the show today. Well, I tell you, folks, it's nice being here, but we're in South <laughs> Texas. Actually, we're in Mexico right now on Lake Falcon, like uh, Hank mentioned, and it's the coldest day of the year. I'm freezing to death. Coming up, Hank and his special guest, Roland Martin, are in the heat of battle. Winter bass fishing. Hanky, baby! I'm ready to warm it up. I'm warming up. Woo! Man, look at the size of him. Going on 20 pounds. That is a big fish. That's you know, I threw in it was mushy. I threw in by that, by that big old tree. You didn't even start to fish yet. I don't like this place. Well, the jewel of the, of the Colorado River. This is the original Colorado River Lake. But coming up next, our tip of the week. Mercury presents the smoothest running outboards on the water. Think of it as 50 years of power and performance as applied to a morning of peace and quiet. When it comes to fishing, everything's got to be just right, from what goes on the end of my line to what goes in the bottom of my boat. For me, that's Delco Voyager batteries with built-in charge indicators. Deep cycling and high cranking the whole time I'm out. Delco Voyager batteries. Deep cycling, high cranking. No other batteries get on board my boat. Delco Voyager batteries are available at everyday low prices at Kmart across the USA. Why aren't all VHF radios totally waterproof? And why aren't all VHF radios built tough enough? And why aren't all VHF radios backed by a 24-hour service guarantee? And why can't you get all this at an affordable price? Humminbird has the answer. The Humminbird VHF radio. Tough. Backed by a 24-hour service guarantee. Affordable. And totally waterproof. It's everything the others aren't. That is a big one, Roland. Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah. Hank, you were slow rolling it? Yeah, slow rolling that center bait. Let's see if it's uh, going to be another uh, one. Oh, look at what I got. I got What's the matter? Caught up in my coat. I'm not... Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at the size of him now. That's a yeah. big fish. Oh, they will hit a spinner bait. Boy, he look that's at him. Look at that, Roland. Look at that. He's got a worm hook in his mouth. Look at that. Yeah, it does. Huh? You know, somebody threw in there and, and, yeah. and caught that fish and said, boy, yeah. he lost the biggest fish of the lake. Yeah. And there it was. Yeah, there's look at the that. fish. There's the, wor there's the Got worm, a worm hook. hook. Now, you know, that hook would have rusted out if it had been very long since he'd been hung. Isn't that a beautiful a fish? That's a fish. Yeah, that's oh. a fantastic fish. I didn't know if I was going to catch one or not. You know, there's a trot line in there. I got that trot line on Well, <laughs> Boy, he was fired up about that. Try yeah. to get that spinnerbait on it. That's, I guess, one reason I could fish that spinnerbait over that trot line, you know? You know, I just hung up in there. I, I, that's, that's a big bunch of trot line stuff in there. Well, he hit that thing pretty good. I mean, yeah. uh, he pretty didn't good. he didn't really thump it, but it was a good solid. I mean, he was he was there. It wasn't just a little peck. He just, he got it. It just turned to mush. You know, you can feel the blades vibrating. Sure. It just, well, did you hit a branch and drop the spinnerbait down? Well, I it? just bumped it. I came by that log and I just bumped that log. And as soon as I bumped it, it just, boy, he just got tight and he was there. Good. So you threw always throw past the target? Is that one of yeah. your. In we other words, that, what do you throw? About five to ten foot past it? Well, it depends. You know, like here with all this wind, it's hard to control that bait. So I like to throw beyond it and always bump that uh, log. Yeah, always try and bump it. You know my idea of the perfect bait casting reel is one that casts with no effort at all. Line peels off the spool like it's in perpetual motion. Now I've never fished with a reel quite like that, but this new Ambassador XLT comes mighty close. In fact, I believe I can cast farther with this reel than any I've ever fished with before. Just imagine what this would do on a fishing rod.
compared to the noise of a gas outboard, any electric fishing motor seems quiet. But some electrics still frighten fish, while Minn Kota doesn't. No wonder three out of four fishermen choose Minn Kota. For the quiet power, that catches fish. You know, to be a great bass fisher like me and my dad, you gotta have the right stuff, like some of that spinner bait and some of these worms. When you're ready to hit the world, you gotta have these. To get on and off the water, you have to cover a lot of ground. How do you do that, Dad? Well, it's easy when you get a good deal on a great <laughs> tie. Cradling dense layers of high-strength fiberglass, this mold sits motionless for what can seem an eternity, slowly nurturing the form inside. Here, there are no shortcuts. For this mold is the birthplace of a ranger boat, and the extra time each boat spends in here makes all the difference in the performance of the boat out there. Ranger boats, we still build them one at a time. Come on, son. Yeah. Hey, way to go. Look at this fish, boy. Way to go. What do you have? Fish. I have got a fish. Yeah, I made a all fish. Right, son. Hey, I, I, I want I want I want the folks to look at what's in that fish's mouth. Well, that, that is what I want the folks to look at. Now, why in the world, after you being the spinnerbait king of all time, <laughs> why did you pick up your jig rod? What is well, the reason for that? The the weather's kind of cleared up. We got back here where it's not as windy. Well, it's a short, stubby fish. And that he looks a, ahead, I had him beat, really beat on the two fish. With you jigging, know, working the jig against the spinnerbait, then he cheats. That he fish cheats is a lot like you. He's short and stubby. <laughs> it's a big one, son. It's about six pounds. <laughs> He's That's a nice. really good fish. Five something, but it's a big fish. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I told you there's some fish in here. You want me here. to fish the spinnerbait? You, you're up there. No, I figured with this cloud cover moving out and the, it's getting a little lighter and the wind dying down, we got back here where it's calm and I could fish. And you keep me cut off where I can't cast with my spinnerbait, so I just had to pick up a jig. You know, I know how you. I know why you threw in that bush. Well, it's because there was a fish in there. You caught one out of the same bush. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, same you bush. Sorry, huh? Not, You're as, not big as big as, as yours, though. He's not as big as yours. You think that I won't huh? throw back in the same bush again? That's pretty neat, you fish a hundred thousand bushes. Huh? You can't throw in there. Look at that long one. He would have been as big as yours. He's just longer than anything. He'll be big as mine in another four or five years. <laughs> what, folks. We've been fishing for about, about every bush in here, about 2,000 bushes, and then we come to this one bush, and the reason why you threw in there is there's line in that bush. Uh, there's, you're not supposed to tell that. <laughs> that's why you knew that, that it's marked. Yep, it's a secret right. bush that's right. that I think Mike has marked for us. Well, I don't know who marked it, but it was a good bush, and I'm glad I let you catch that little guy. Well, you know, it's funny. These wintertime bass, seriously, I know we're cutting up a little bit about it. Water temperature is 51, 52 degrees. The fish are concentrated, most likely, in these little, little guts like this. And we found a, a small little pond dam in the back, and that's actually a, a, little, a little dam of a of an old pond, and this is the channel right here. Drops in about six or seven feet of water right up through this flat. You know, Rowan, you asked me seriously, though, why did I change to a jig? Now, you catching, uh, you catching a couple of good fish on a jig uh, definitely is one reason, but also, you know, when we were out on the main lake and on the other side where the wind's blowing, it's tough to fish a jig. That's really hard, and, and with two people, it's, it's even more difficult to keep the boat position. You've got to flip into the wind, and with a spinnerbait, you can actually fish across wind and still be pretty productive and pretty thorough with, the, with covering the water. And you just can't really do that uh, with a jig throwing. You, you just about have to throw with the wind or against the wind, either directly into it or directly down from it. And you, you could get away with fishing crossways uh, with no wind or even with a spinnerbait in the wind. When it comes to fishing, everything's got to be just right, from what goes on the end of my line to what goes in the bottom of my boat. For me, that's Delco Voyager batteries with built-in charge indicators. 
deep cycling and high cranking the whole time I'm out. Delco Voyager batteries. Deep cycling, high cranking. No other batteries get on board my boat. Delco Voyager batteries are available at everyday low prices at Kmart across the USA. Ever wish you could cast a country mile? Now you can. The original Country Mile or new Country Mile spinning reel. Cast one. In recent tests, Mercury Bass engines placed first in top speed, acceleration, and fuel efficiency. Proof that we build engines for two types of fishermen. Those who love to win, and those who hate to lose. Winchester. He's a hot little dude there, Ron. He just swam off with it. That was yeah. the only one. You just uh, knocked it. You just come off the end. Right. That's the only one. sun has popped out and the, the wind has died down and we can really fish pretty thorough. And the size of these fish are, oh, you know, we just hadn't caught a lot of little fish. I we mean, what fish we've caught. At least the four pound average is what we've caught today. Tremendous, tremendous fish. I think that, you know, the guys over at Brush Country, uh, that's pretty well what they've said. You know, falcon is a lake that you catch a lot of four and five pound bass. Mm. And these, yeah. These jigs, you know, always a jig catches a great fish. Now, I caught a couple of fish earlier on spinnerbait during the cloud cover, but a, a jig is just a great fish, and, and it, it ever seems like every fish we caught today on the jig has been a good fish. Of course, you always have to show off and try and catch a bigger fish. You've always done that. And you have to come on my show and, and just overpower me and make me look bad, but <laughs> I appreciate I you being a, on here. It's been a great, uh, it's really been a great week. Yeah. You know, we've done a lot of deer hunting. I've got a big deer this week with Hank, and, and now we're catching all these big bass. I tell you what, it's been a memorial week. It's a tough life, isn't it? Fishing <laughs> Something's and hunting and stuff. Yeah, it's really rough. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed our show today. We did a little bit of mixed bag. We had some cloud cover earlier. Uh, cold fronts can be productive, and uh, I guess Roland's kind of the king of, of cold fronts. He catches more bass on cold fronts than anybody I know. So I got a good lesson today and I hope you did too. Thanks for being with me. God bless you. I'm Hank Parker. Rolling. Hank's show has been brought to you in part by Berkeley tri -Lee. Super Strong Fishing Line. Delco Voyager available at Kmart. The quality you need. The price you want. Humminbird. Absolutely brilliant technology. Tangle Free Johnson Reels, cast a country mile. A good deal on a great tire. Kelly Tires. Minn Kota, the quiet power that catches fish. Ranger Boats, we still build them one at a time. And by Abu Garcia. Mercury Outboards. Polaroid. Sparkle Scales Fish Formula.
I think one's got it. Oh, it's on. I got it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our show today. I really enjoyed bringing it to you. It's been a lot of fun. It's unique, and really, it's quite a relaxing situation. So, uh, next week we may be doing one face down. You never know. So, you join me next week for the next edition of Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine. Woo, son, let's get out of here. <laughs>